What is up, guys? Mac with Speed coming at you. Great day today, and I'm enjoying every single bit of it. Kind of on the upswing lately, and if you're familiar with current events lately, it's been an absolutely crazy time in my life lately. With uh, legal headaches and uh, businesses starting and websites dropping, it's been absolutely one thing after another. But I'm doing the absolute best I can to go ahead and uh, keep up on the content end of it as well, right? That's where it all started. Maccabee Speed coming at you is where it all started. That's where I want to keep essentially focused. Today we're going to be looking at the Avonix Viper. And honestly, I think this may be the only product like this on the market currently available for the viper platform i'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is going to fill up a 10 minute episode full length style but i will say that this makes this gun a whole lot more capable as far as accepting accessories the one thing that avonix really fell short on from the factory was the ability to go ahead and mount things that you would typically want to see on a target oriented pistol in previous episodes, we've already seen that the energy is just not there to go ahead and substantiate the claims that this would be a good self-defense option. But inside of that, it's a whole lot of fun with the quick cyclic action the semi-auto brings to the table. And you couple that with the fact that you can now go ahead and install whatever you want, flashlights, lasers, tack lights, what have you, and still be able to utilize those factory sights because of the sidekick rail style going to be a good option for you if you're looking to truly accessorize. I don't know whether it was kind of like more of an elite offering or maybe they didn't import that many of them or maybe they, not too many of them were made or what the case was, but this pistol for whatever reason just hasn't seemed too terribly popular across the user base. I think that might be possibly due to the fact that there's kind of a lack of aftermarket support for this as far as stuff that I'm aware of. If you guys know of something, please throw it down in the comments. This rail here does have an offset to it on the bottom, so you can go ahead and reverse it and uh, accommodate with a couple rail slots in each direction for different style popular tack lights. Up here where it mounts, it actually doesn't mount to the air tank, it mounts to this uh, barrel tube itself. You get the brass inserts and it's not going to strip out on you. You don't need a whole lot of torque on this though, like the smallest amount of snug is really all you need to keep this in place with so little blowback. Once again, I'm not going to sit here and drag this out into a 10 minute episode for you guys, but for the Avonix Viper crowd out there, I think it's probably a good option. I'm not quite sure why the aftermarket kind of skipped over this offering, but it was kind of a see and need, fill and need type of a thing. All right, guys, if you like this upload, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like what you saw today, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.